Just got your Nexus One phone? Let's get you set up. First, we'll take a tour of your new phone. In front, we have a large touch screen. Just above the screen, there are proximity and light sensors, an earpiece, and a status light. Down below, you'll find four soft keys, back, menu, home, and search, as well as a trackball. The bottom of the device has dock connectors for optional docks, a USB port, and a microphone. On the side is the volume up and down key. Across the top is the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the power button, which is used to turn the screen off and on. On the back, there's a speaker, a five megapixel camera with flash, and a noise cancellation microphone. The first thing you wanna do when you get your Nexus One is to make sure the hardware is set up. To open the back of your Nexus One, press your thumbs on either side of the phone's back cover and slide the cover up and off the phone. Inside, you'll see slots for the battery, a SIM card, and a micro SD card. All phones come with a micro SD card pre-installed, but it's easy to pop out the card and put in a new one whenever you like. Some phones come with a SIM card already installed, but if you have a SIM card from your old phone, it's easy to install your SIM card into the Nexus One. Just slide it down into the slot until it sits flush with the edge of the battery compartment. Now you can slide your battery into the compartment, taking care to align the gold contacts on the phone and battery. Then replace the back cover of your Nexus One. Now all you need to do is fully charge your phone and then it's ready to use. Now, we'll go over signing in with a Google account. First, touch the Android to begin. After reading through the setting up your Google Nexus One screen, hit Next. You can always skip account setup and do this at a later time. If you have an existing Google or Gmail account, select Sign In and enter your username and password. If you'd like to create a new account, select Create. When creating a new Google account, Enter your first name, last name, and a username you'd like. We'll check to see if your desired username is available. If it isn't, you can pick a new one from the suggestions or enter a different choice. After choosing your username, enter your desired password using a combination of characters and numbers to make it strong. You'll need to set a security question and provide a secondary email address. These are necessary if you forget your password and need to reset it. After you select Create, read through the Google Terms of Service and then select Next. Type the characters you see in the picture and select Next again. After a few minutes, your account is set up and visible in the Account section of Settings. You can select the account to manage the sync settings for Contacts, Calendar, and Gmail. This information will be synchronized with your computer. Return here to add or change accounts, but for now, hit back, then home. You're now ready to use your Nexus One. If you're looking to keep your Nexus One more secure, you can set a security pattern to prevent others from using your device. From the home screen, select Settings, Location and Security, Set Unlock Pattern. You can use any pattern of at least four dots, so be creative. Once you enter it a second time and hit Confirm, your security pattern will be recorded and active. Whenever your Nexus One is locked, it will need to be entered to access your device. Now that you're set up to use your Nexus One, customizing your home screen is fun and easy to do. To add new icons to your home screen, press the Menu button at the bottom of your screen and select Add. You can add shortcuts to various items, widgets, or folders. After making your choice, a new icon is placed on your home screen. Long pressing on your home screen will also bring up the Add to Home Screen menu. You can quickly arrange application shortcuts by performing a long press, then dragging and dropping the icon to your desired location. If you no longer want a shortcut to appear on your home screen, 
simply long press on the icon until the trash can icon shows up at the bottom of the screen. Just drag the shortcut over and drop it into the trash. You can navigate the full length of your home screen by simply sliding to the left or the right. You can also press the navigation dots at the bottom of the screen. Need to see what's on all of your panels at once? Long press the bottom of the home screen and you'll see thumbnails of all your home screen panels. You may have noticed icons appearing at the top of your home screen. These are notifications letting you know about recent activity on your phone. Use your finger to slide the bar down to show you more information about your notifications. To learn more, you can find our Nexus One user guide, help forms, and help center at www.google.com phone support.